Hi, I'm Rebecca from Maison Botanica, and I'm here to show you how to transform your bathroom into a party bathroom. This is my old basement bathroom. It's pretty drab, pretty plain. Now it's time to pick your colors. So I chose to use my sitting room color mauve since I already had some, it's the front color, and I've chosen complementary colors for it. One tip for you is to pick sample size jars. They're very small and inexpensive. Mine are five bucks at Home Depot, and it's a way to get a lot of colors for not a lot of money. Admittedly, it took me three attempts to get to the end product where I was really happy with it. The first two attempts, I'll just say, mm, they weren't my proudest moments, but hey, that's the great thing about paint. You can always redo it. This was my first inspiration photo. I thought this was a great way to freehand with some cute colors, but it actually turns out things are a lot cuter on Pinterest than in real life. This was inspo photo number two. I even picked out the exact same colors to try to get the same effect. And I had painted acrylic on canvas many times, so I thought it could be the same on a wall. Turns out painting and blending paint on a wall is actually quite challenging and it did not end up looking the way I wanted. And unfortunately I did the whole bathroom before I realized I just didn't like it. Then came inspiration photo three from Shapes for the People. She does these really great murals that are dynamic and color blocking, and I thought that would be a really interesting way to do the bathroom with some of the colors I already had picked out. Then I set out to map out the shapes on the wall to try to utilize what I had already painted. I mapped it out on a notebook as well, just to make sure everything looked good and that I wasn't overlapping any of the colors and I wanted to make use of some of the spaces that already had color so a lot of the blue was on the bottom and I had blue on the bottom for the color blocking as well. So I painstakingly primed over all of the walls I had just painted over. If you have painted walls already you will need to prime your walls especially if you have any light colors you want the colors to pop and show. You will need to be strategic with how you paint your blocks because once you paint one area and have it taped off you aren't able to paint the areas immediately around it until that first block dries. What I did was I would paint one block and I would leave the ones around it empty and then I would paint the ones around the empty blocks as well just so that I'm always painting something. And then I'd come back, retape the ones that I already did and then paint the empty ones. There's going to be a lot of taping and retaping and taping again and this is where your drawing will come in handy so that you know what color is going where. You will need a lot of paint rollers and containers so that you can paint a lot of different colors at the same time without having to wash and wait for things to dry. You'll notice my tape is blue versus the usual green painter's tape. Uh, it's technically for sharp lines, so I gave it a try. It was a little better than the usual green tape, but I still had areas I need to touch up, but it's worth a try if you're going to do this. Now for the moment of truth. After many hours of hard work, the bathroom is finally done. I added a vintage mirror and, of course, a disco ball because why not it's a party bathroom after all so it needs a disco ball and here it is folks
I'm literally sitting in my bathroom right now, basking in alt glory, and I've gotta say it's pretty fabulous. I am quite happy with how it all turned out. If you had a chance to do this and paint along with me, I'd love to see it. Show me it, tag me, send a comment. Um, I hope you enjoyed this process as I have. Uh, there was definitely some blood, sweat, and tears that were shed to make it. Um, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe and like this video. There will be more to come. Until then, take care.